back at the Sportsplex with the Wells Fargo Bank Game of the Week. Each week we pick four contenders for the Game of the Week. You can go to our website right now and vote for next week's game. The two teams in the Game of the Week each will receive $500 for their program from Wells Fargo Bank. Tonight it's Half Moon Bay and San Mateo. Yes, the San Mateo Bearcats are led by Watson Felikitanga, who's averaging 170 yards a game on the ground. Half Moon Bay is just one game behind the Bearcats, so this game was a big deal. It's a blackout game played at San Mateo Friday night. Robert was there. Felikitanga. Brendan Frost getting his Bearcats ready to go against Half Moon Bay. The Cougars driving the ball early. Shane Acton throwing the slant to Brandon Inglis for a Cougars first down. Same drive Acton pitching to Matt Spiegelman who races toward the far sideline then breaks it inside. Some nifty moves by Matt. The drive ends with this Mark Myron jaunt up the middle. 23 yards and the Cougars score first and take a 6 to nothing lead. But check this out. The Cougs go for two. It's the old swinging gate formation. Center is eligible, and that's who Acton throws it to. Toby Leonardos hauls it in. 8 nothing Half Moon Bay. More Cougars Acton to throw. He goes to Pablo Gutierrez. A perfect pass and a fine catch by Pablo, and Half Moon Bay takes a 15 nothing lead. Second quarter, here come the Bearcats. It's Lene Latu, and he's going deep. There to bring it down is Austin Perez. Extra point missed, and the Cougars lead at 15 to 6. But the Half Moon Bay offense could not be stopped. Here's Myron again running for tough yards all night long and here he is again diving into the end zone Mark Myron and the Half Moon Bay lead is 22 to 6. Third quarter now acting up the gut for six more and it's 29 to 6 Half Moon Bay but later in the third back come the Bearcats. Lene Latu keeps it himself with a touchdown it's 29 14 and then in the fourth handed to Josh Fakava who breaks through the line then races all the way to the Cougar 17 yard line. San Mateo scores but misses the extra extra point. It's 29-20. The Cougars try to run out the clock. A terrific call here as Acton throws to James Cartwright and that'll do it. Half Moon Bay wins at 29-20. We talk with the team right after the game. And here they are off a very impressive win tonight, the Half Moon Bay Cougars. Congratulations guys. Right here with me, Shane Acton. Shane, you got to do that dance a couple of times in the end zone tonight. What was it like beating a very good San Mateo team tonight? Oh, well, it's just another step towards the league title. I mean, honestly, we, we know this was a big win for us, and every week is a big win, and we just got to keep it rolling. In the middle here, meet Sarabia, my, my new favorite name. Meet, meet the man in the middle. Me, talk about the line play tonight. You knew you were going to have to stop their running backs. What was it like on the line? Um, it was easy. <laughs> it was easy stopping them, you know? I guess when, you're, when your name is Meat, I guess everything's easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Very good. All right. Toby over here. Toby, you guys did a great job in the running game, eating up the clock tonight. What was the plan on the ground for you guys tonight? Um, well, great question, sir. You. Um, <laughs> you know, our game plan is our coaches put in a real good game plan to run it down their throats, and that's what we did. When you got great teammates, great coaches, I'll go to hell and back for y'all. And what, is, what does this win mean for you guys? Hey, it's just step one. We're building up. It's a staircase. We're building up. <laughs> Good. Congratulations, Half Moon Bay Cougars. Guys, take us out.